When we trialed moving from fifth generation EC2 instances to Graviton2, we saw a 10% improvement in the median latency, that we we're having many fewer tail latency spikes because the Graviton2 processor is just much more efficient. And we were able to push much more load. But it gets better. Because when we did an A-B test of Graviton2 versus Graviton3, we found a further 10 to 20% improvement in tail latency and a 30% improvement in our throughput and median latency of our ingest services. And not only that, it turns out that this workload just bin packs much better with EKS and Graviton3, that the CPU utilization is about 30% lower, which means we can push it a lot harder. And it turns out that you can compound this savings by using EC2 spot instances because the node termination handler in EKS allows you to just gracefully fail workloads over as, e as EC2 spot terminates the instances. So we save money by being flexible. How does that work? Well, it turns out that when we went from fifth generation to sixth generation, we saved about 20%. And then we saved a further 20% when we adopted sixth generation instances powered by Graviton2 with Spot. Our columnar data storage is powered by EC2 M6GD instances. When we switched from the i3 instance family to the M6GD instance family, tail latency went down by 2 thirds. And also, we are tier data over to S3, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So speaking of other data storage mechanisms, we use EC2 IM4GN instances to power our Kafka streaming data ingest. And these instances were newly announced at reInvent this past year, and they're powered by Nitro SSD. So we had a problem before that we didn't have the right shape to scale with our workload, where we stream data, and we need to make sure that we get it right the first time, but we don't necessarily access the older data until there's an emergency. So we were disk bound, running 30 instances of i3EN. We started tiering the data to S3, which helped, but then we saturated it in CPU. But right sizing everything onto IM4GN lets us hit our network, CPU, and storage thresholds appropriately. OK, so about this, the query retrieval, how do we make it fast? Well, one answer is just use more M6GD, right? That only works up to a point, because if you have millions of files stored in S3, you're going to have a hard time querying them all from even just 100 servers. So we utilize AWS Lambda in order to query on demand millions of files from S3 with tens of thousands of parallel workers, which allows us to give you results for any question you might ask about your systems in less than 10 seconds. And with AWS Lambda and Graviton combined together, we see about a 40% improvement in price performance, which really enables us to economically give our users the comfort of knowing they're going to be able to get a great night's sleep. So to sum up, AWS enables us to go fast. With AWS, we're able to build quickly and help our customers move quickly too. We've saved over 60% versus fifth generation instances, and also, as you heard earlier, we also have 60% reduction in emissions from using Graviton2 and Graviton3. So we've scaled 10x over the past three years without blowing our SLOs and without blowing our cost budgets. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out the chapter of observability engineering on our data store. And you can go and get all of the meaty technical blogs and details at the link that's on screen right now. So now I'll go ahead and turn things back over to Martin. Thank you very much.